All right, guys, I'm going to show you in this video or attempt to show you how to take apart one of these Mitsubishi wall mount units to clean. So basically, you're just going to lift up this door, you're going to pull those two air filters out, and you have these little tabs down here. Just pull these little plastic pieces out. It's going to have two screws, one here and one I've already removed. So you pull those screws out, and then on the top, it's going to be difficult to see, but there are usually three snaps where this just pushes down and pulls away. It tucks underneath it here. Looks like it's still got the original tape on here. But underneath of there, there are a couple little snaps. So you basically push down on this once you get those screws out of the front and pull this towards you and this whole cover will come off. So I'm gonna stop this, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the cover off and I'll show you what's next. All right guys, so now we got the cover off. I'm just gonna leave you with this. So the next thing I usually do is take these louvers off on the Mitsubishis, they're really easy. Just slide these little locks over. Just gonna drop those two down and then it just slides right off of that little motor shaft. And do the same thing with this one. And it will slide right off. So that'll expose everything in there. Just set these down. And next, what I usually do is just take these little wire grates out. Now they're I always have to wrestle with them and I'll need two hands, but they're just looped over these little plastic pieces. So all you have to do is a little little piece here. You just gotta push that to the side, pull this out, and then you lift it and it comes out. Pretty simple once you've seen it done once or twice. Um, so I'm gonna pull those out. Then we are going to take out this screw, this screw, and that screw and that's gonna make this coil move towards us. We'll be able to drop this drain pan down, which is just literally on snaps. Snap there, snap there, snap here, and disconnect our drain line. And let's see, I usually pull this screw and the screw right back there and pull these motors off of this so the whole drain pan comes down and you disconnect the side of this coil so you can lean the coil out, find the set screw in the blower wheel up there, which is a Phillips screw, loosen that, and then this whole blower wheel, once this coil leans forward, is going to sort of slide out this way at a 45 degree angle. So I'll start breaking it apart and kind of show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so we got those little wire grates out, which are down there. Got the two screws out of the louver motors and this just slides right out and that'll just sort of hang out there then these literally again it's going to be difficult to do with one hand but it just unsnaps see like that like that so then this whole pan will basically start to fall off and the only thing that's holding it is this snap which i'm going to need two hands for that and this drain on the top of this drain it has a little release once you get this pan to come down you'll see the little release you'll squeeze it and then you'll be able to slide this line off of the drain port that comes out of there and we already have these screws out so this whole coil will slide forward but I'll go ahead and drop this down and show you the next step all right and this would have been better suited if I had my GoPro but we're gonna make it work anyway so Got this drain pan unsnapped from there, and this was the fitting that I was telling you about. You just basically push this in with one hand, and it lifts up the little catch, and then you'll be able to slide the uh, stub from this pan and slide the entire assembly off and get rid of that. And like I said, I got the screws out of here, so this whole coil comes off. Obviously, it's still attached on the other side by the refrigerant lines. I have a little rubber grommet slash bearing sits right here 
So you just pull that off and that just slides in these grooves. And then, so that side of our blower is disconnected. So then we just gotta rotate this blower until you find the keyhole, which is right there. Right. So you can see that little fitting right there. Just lift that up. Drain pan drops straight off. And I got the set screw undone. I'll try to just show you with one hand, but the coil is basically gonna come out this way. Or excuse me, the blower wheel is gonna come out this way. And just slide right out of there, just like that. So then you'll have access underneath to get inside and get whatever you need cleaned or change the blower wheel or change the motor and the motor. You just disconnect from that side. It's just got a little bracket that holds it in and that motor will slide right out. But yeah, all in all pretty simple. Once you've done it a couple times, get the hang of it. There's really not a whole lot to it. And most of them come apart the same way. So once you've taken one brand apart, more or less they all come apart in a very similar fashion. So hope that helps guys. I'm gonna shut this down. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. And thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.